Okay, so another great drill for the load is the disc drill, just like we talked about for the stance, that getting on this disc, on these discs, really makes you lock in, engage your legs, engage your core, get into a balanced position. I just lost my balance, which the kids will, will do also. So now you're here, you're in that nice balanced position. Now you gotta work on that load. And this is even harder than the balanced beam. So you, you work on that load here. Again, you gotta be doing it with a nice rhythm, keeping that head over the center of your body, showing the bottom of your shoe to the pitcher, whether it's small or big. Some kids can do this more easily than others making sure you're not rocking back out here, you'll fall, head gets too far out front, you'll fall over here, your head gets too far back, you'll fall over there, so it forces you to stay in balance throughout that move, making sure you're getting that weight into this back hip, so you're ready, and that's gonna happen. And guys, make this fun, the kids love this. Make it fun, but keep them going. Fun lessons are good lessons, they're gonna to wanna to repeat them, but keep going, keep them on track to keep working it until they really get it. And this drill, like a lot of the drills for stance, for balance, for load, for transfer, which we're gonna to get to, if you put the mirror right in front of them out here so they can look at themselves and when you're telling them, when you're giving them that positive reinforcement, that yes, that's how it should feel. Now they know how it feels, the mirror in front of them is gonna show them how it looks. So any positive reinforcement that you can give, do it.